everybody. Today I want to reveal some information uh, that the Father gave me himself. And, of course, I've had it confirmed by higher-ups, I guess you could say. Um, all of my information is always top level. And uh, one of the reasons they've they give me information is because they know who I am and you know when you've been trying to kill someone their entire life and they just won't die <laughs> it draws curiosity from all of the world leaders and uh, you know particularly I've I've managed to last through almost every presidential administration since 1965 so uh, particularly the Bush years were the worst and Obama years just the constant assassination attacks because they know I have info they know I can get info uh, I can see things um, you know everybody always wants to know where do you get your information it's like the Father, the Most High God. You know, I am a born-again believer in Yahushua. I serve the Lord. Most Christians hate me. The churches hate me. The Satanists respect me. So love me or hate me, you're going to know me. I want to talk about the Vatican. And, uh... Particularly because it's the most abominable place on the planet. I went and got some pictures for you. There you go. Look. There is the Basilica, St. Peter's Square. I don't know why they call it a square when it's a circle. <laughs> there it is. Big old circle with a shaft right in the center of it. Big old penis. It's Lucifer's penis. They love having that all over the place. Uh, if I'm right, I'm, that, used, that was called the Astaroth Pole. Back in the old days. Back in the Old Testament. You always hear about the Asheroth Pole or whatever. And that's it. That's the shaft. This thing it just doesn't die. It just doesn't go away. Get him. The world's largest one, I think, is in Washington, D.C. Washington Monument. But look how vast this is. It, it, it's just huge. Look, there's buildings along the side here. All along the side here. I'm not sure what all this is back here. I don't know if it's part of the Vatican City. Or if that's just Rome. I don't know what that is. But you can see that all of this is part of Vatican City. Because it's going to come into play here shortly when I start talking about a few things. This is it lit up at night. Looks like something out of hell, huh? I think it's supposed to resemble gold, but it actually looks like hell. Like it should be on fire. One of the most interesting things about Vatican City that most people don't realize is that this city itself underneath Vatican City was a 13 level deep underground alien base what I call a duab the deep underground alien base and Lucifer started building it back when the Jews were slaves in Egypt while all that was going on with Israel back in the day he was over here building an underground empire it was his kingdom on earth he has a throne at the Vatican and to him the Vatican is a shrine to him Satan's seat on earth the Bible talks about how he has a Satan seat on earth the throne on earth it's here it's at the Vatican so for thousands of years, 
he built his kingdom underneath the ground here and then they built all this on top of here and if you remember the Roman government the political side of it used to be over in Constantinople which I think was on the eastern side of or somewhere of Italy I'm really not a, a genius here in, in uh, geography but they were separate cities Rome and Constantinople were separate cities and he had the Vatican built here off to itself and what he would do is bring over Roman political leaders the governors of the day he loved Nero he said that was one of his favorite uh, ones when I asked uh, Lucifer about the past he uh, some of the people he liked some of the people he remembered and he liked Nero of course Nero was famous for persecuting Christians so Lucifer would love him for that because he's a scumbag um not that I want to get into that because I could talk about that for hours uh, but what I want to do is just reveal some good old information about the Vatican that nobody else does first of all well the base underneath here the 13 level base was destroyed back in 2012 uh, at the time I was at uh, in a war with Lucifer behind the scenes and uh, the father destroyed the underground base here I actually got three of them I got the underground base here at DC or uh, Vatican I got the underground base in DC and I got the underground base that was underneath Buckingham Palace in London and so they moved everything up everything that was underneath the ground Lucifer's what he calls fun houses were all moved above ground and according to him Vatican City is more or less like the Hotel California you can come in but you're only allowed to leave with permission so <laughs> they keep a, 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 a tight lid on it because of the horrors that go on there <coughs> first of all Vatican is the number one child trafficking center in the world all of the children come through here the Pope gets his pick of the litter <coughs> and they all prefer young boys and the Cardinals they all get their the pick of the litter of the children and then they're shipped out to the rest of Europe some of them make their way over to the United States the United States has its own child trafficking distribution centers DARPA runs it here in America DARPA in the Pentagon and the Vatican pretty much runs it for all of Europe um, but that's been my my war lately in shutting down child trafficking and so it's ignited a whole another war between Lucifer and I which our, our battles have been going on for years um, no sign of letting up anytime soon another thing about the Vatican is that they have what they refer to as fun houses and these fun houses are despicable and these fun houses if you could imagine just a few sections of hell itself that would be the fun houses uh, they have 
tables where they strap people on the tables and they de-skin them they peel the skin off their bodies they snip their toes and fingers off with scissors they experiment with chemicals and acids on them uh, to watch their skin dissolve they do all kinds of abominable horrors to people there they also that one movie Hannibal where the guy is eating his brain and at the dinner table and the guy's sitting there because he doesn't realize the guy had taken a chunk out of his brain and was sitting there eating it in front of him that kind of stuff goes on there. Vatican City is not just the number one center in the world for child trafficking, but also cannibalism, torture, all kinds of, of torment and rape goes on at the Vatican. Also, one of the ancient rules of the Vatican is that a private meeting with the Pope actually means that if, if you want a, a private meeting with the Pope, if you wouldn't even want to meet the Pope, rules are that you have to perform fellatio on the Pope. That's the rules. So you go to your private meeting with the Pope, you perform fellatio on the Pope, and then he might listen to a what you're there for. He might give you five minutes. He might give you five seconds. But that's the rules. A private meeting with the Pope. So keep that in mind when you look at the people who have had <laughs> a private meeting with the Pope. There's Putin, the most recent letter DiCaprio, This is Francis, and there's also pictures of Benedict here. There is George Bush Jr. There's Obama. Uh, somebody there's Kissinger. Angelina Jolie. There's some more of Angie. Prince Charles, Camilla. Oh, and the, and the Queen, she doesn't get a pass either, you know. Uh, there's another one of Prince Charles over here. Tony Blair. That's uh, the president of Seychelles. That's some kind of islands. I'm not sure where they're at, but the elite are all into that place because... Uh, I don't know. They, they run there. They think it's a safe place. They must have offshore accounts there. But check these images out of the Vatican, folks. I don't know how anyone could not see these as purely demonic and filthy. Satan's seat on earth. His throne on earth at the Vatican. He has his own throne separate from the Pope's here. The Pope has an upside down cross on the back here. If you look, I don't know if I can zoom that in. This is actually a hat and the person's face is under here. And if, if you see it good, if you can zoom in, you can look at it online. Uh, it's Sananda. Sananda sitting there. The one I've been warning about for years is coming as the false prophet. Hey, doesn't he look like a nice righteous guy? Come on now. He probably just ate a three-year-old baby. I mean, he doesn't get... Benedict's the easy one because the wolf looks like a wolf. Then you get to Francis, and he looks like a lamb, and he's not. He's worse than, worse than that one was, Benedict. 
anyway, I'm running out of time. <laughs>